There's been an update to the X-Roader lineup. Some of you may have guessed that this was coming, but yes, indeed, there is an X-Roader update. The 20 by 20 platform got the treatment, if you will. You may recall not too long ago, we had a similar video on the 65 amp version on the X-Roader 4-in-1, and that is the 30 millimeter. So the 20 millimeter was announced yesterday, and we're gonna pop this bad boy open, take a look, show you what's inside. There it is, as the angels go, right no you, you guys don't get that when you open a new one up comes with a power cap pre-installed that you definitely want to leave in there added some some beefiness to it so that that's not gonna get moved around or uh, what happens is the leads get worked back and forth so this helps stop that and it comes without the plug installed so you get to set your length let's see what's under here harnesses 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 so you can make your own custom harnesses, or if you're going to use this in a, a plug-and-play build or a plug-in build, you can do that. I don't know. And then your best friend in the whole wide world, the instruction manual. A, a real genuine AMAS XT60 plug and the input harness that goes to the Hobbywing F7 flight control, of course. If you were to look at these side by side with the, the 40 amp version, you're not going to see a ton of differences. The big thing that changed was there was some MCUs or ICs. I, you can tell that I don't really know what the, the real name of it was, but some components that make up these beautiful speed controls have changed. And that created a, a minor generation change, what I call a soft update, where the, the speed control itself didn't look or get too many huge updates, but it did get some real, uh, component changes, if you will, like to, to make it so we could make them much, much longer. But you can see there, it looks really good. But the 20 millimeter 45 amp four in one is an FPV racing speed control, if you did not know that already. People use flight controls or uh, speed controls like this rather for non racing drones as well. And, space and things like that are a constraint but primarily these are used in five inch racing builds and it does pair like i said earlier with our hobby wing f7 flight control as well that's the one that does the 30 or the 20 millimeter footprint this does support bl heli of course like any of them do and all of the previous protocols that were out there before that one thing to note that we do get questions on these we get asked for a pinout on the speed control because folks do the hard wiring because you can if you don't if you're not a fan of the plugs you have the the solder pins that are right here and they need to know what those all are the pinout is in the instruction manual there's a picture in here that shows you exactly what each of those locations do as well as like when you plug in the build your own harness you can have your pin out for what the the harness pins are as well they're, they're the same obviously um, also gives you the motor designation so you can keep track of the, your motor assignments and the power capacitor does come pre-installed and i gotta say it out loud that that's best on the speed control power capacitor is a hot topic of conversation in brushless controllers for a while and the closer the power capacitor is to the speed control the better it does as far as protecting the speed control from the ripple current so power caps on the speed control is kind of the way to go it can be a little cumbersome with the build obviously but it's better to have a speed control that's super reliable than a power cap that's somewhere else getting damaged for all the hard information on this guy uh, link in the description down below right to these should be available very soon pre-orders i think starts this week Weekend. we'll have a link for that down below or check with your favorite fpv dealer we try to keep the dealers in the loop on all of this stuff so they have them available as soon as possible we want you to be able to get your hobby wing wherever you can so that is a real quick look and unboxing at the updated x rotor 45 amp four in one we will have more videos on this coming very soon i have some fresh builds on my bench that we're going to do this with a flight control new motors the whole nine yards and get a fresh build in the air because it's been far too long uh, if you do have any questions Questions, comments, or concerns, please shoot us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com, and we will be happy to help you out. As always, folks, don't forget we do have a podcast. Just look us up on your favorite podcast service. It's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. We give away a free Hobbywing combo each and every episode. Those are new on the first and third Friday of the month. And like I said, it's called RC Stuff Powered by Hobbywing. Thanks for tuning in. Another fresh episode of The Charlie Show, new every Tuesday, right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.